without a doubt, we're still trying to calculate that scale and really wrap your head around not only the incredible path that this took, but the amount of surveyed and has to be addressed. Uh, volunteers and, and the resources that are trying to get into these areas to reach the people that have been affected by those storms. And that work continues around the clock. I'm here inside the Seven Oaks Christ on the outside of town here in Mayfield. They do have electricity and their church has been prepared for disasters like this to swing into action. That's what you see behind me. You see church members here that have been grilling. Inside this kitchen alone, they've prepared about 500 meals today. They have volunteer teams that are out in the community right now. They're doing uh, damage assessments. They're also helping with relief efforts. And I spoke with Mabel Cooper. She came through these lines just earlier today. She was affected by this. Her home describes a little bit about her experience as she was coming through here to get some help. It scared the life out of me. It just, I don't even know. I'm so disembobulated, I don't even know. All I know, I'm still here. God left me here. I'm still here. My granddaughter was there. And like I told her, I said, well, I guess this is it. She laid across my lap. <laughs> and we sit there, and the house moved and moved and moved. And... <laughs> That's all I remember. And Mabel tells us, unfortunately, that she did lose a cousin who was working in the candle factory and that her family is still just trying to deal with that grief as well as trying to uh, deal with the fact that they've lost their home and trying to reach friends and relatives in the community. It's still just a very chaotic, raw scene here. Meanwhile, this is another example of the help that is on the way and the help that is swinging into action. This is one of the supply rooms, and anybody who's in need here in the community can just simply drive up to this church. They'll be met with a hot meal. They'll be asked what they need. And all of these clothing items, toiletry items, the basic necessities that so many people are needing in these first few hours and days, they'll be met. And this is just one of several congregations in the area that are swinging into action to do what they can. Ian.